I think the main challenges uh, for, uh, the, for, the, for the prosperity of the PV sector in Egypt uh, would be uh, trying to reach the gap between the financing and uh, the projects because many projects want to develop <coughs> but they need adequate financing that is uh, adapted to their needs and to the model of the, of the project. Uh, another point is that um, when the financing when the financing has to be done in USD, sometimes it's not possible for local banks to uh, to uh, interfere. So the financing uh, happens through international IFIs, which is why it is important for the projects <coughs> to, for the investors to be uh, adapted to be open minded to be able to uh, adapt their financing models to the needs of the local developments. What I expect for the future is that more local companies will be more involved and that um, and, the, and that people, consumers will get more will be more aware of uh, the of the um, environmental aspects and the uh, and the possibilities that lie behind uh, PV power. Okay, so I've been asked to talk about the uh, opportunities and challenges within the solar energy market in Egypt. And let me start with the opportunities. Um, the subsidies are being removed from fossil fuels. Uh, despite the problems that's creating, we believe there's a huge opportunity there. <coughs> the, um, uh, um, the government and the private sector have also been uh, focused on on-grid uh, renewable energy solutions. Uh, we believe there is, which is great, but we also believe there's a great opportunity in hanging fruit within the off-grid um, sector. Within that sector, there you've got residential and you've got agriculture uh, high on the list. Uh, with a lot of the focus again has been on residential because um, there is there is a capability there to pay upfront. And when it comes to agriculture, there's again focus on the big farms because again there's capability to pay upfront and uh, the economies of scale just make it more economically feasible. However, we do see a huge potential with the medium and even small uh, farms. Um, the, uh, the, now let me talk about the challenges. The challenge lies in how do you make that economically feasible? How do you create a business model that works for uh, small farms? Um, we've done assessments and uh, we're in the final stages of conducting finalizing um, an assessment on that. And we can see that small and medium farms are actually doing it. They're, 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 the farmers are making their own calculations and they uh, do realize that, especially off grid, that there is huge difficulty with diesel and they would like to find alternatives and they looked into it. Um, the problem is upfront payments. That's not something that's feasible for them. However, if there were a way to make the payments, um, if there were a way to make those payments installed, or maybe even a completely different uh, model where it was provided as a service, that would make it more feasible. That's where we see the challenge. That's where we see small and uh, small uh, and medium and startups coming in and playing a big role to come up with a business model that would work for the segment that is obviously huge and in need of it. Um, so that's where we would like to focus. I would like to speak about the challenges and opportunities and the outlook of uh, solar energy in Egypt. Challenges, of course, is the political situation and the energy subsidies, which makes the visibility not that good like in other countries. And the political system is not very much for the free market, private sector, but honestly, I'm very optimistic that 2018 is the, the year of everything will be changed. And now I come to the opportunities. Egypt is now building the world's largest photovoltaic plant in Benban, which is near my Asuan, 2000 megawatt. My company is a subcontractor for 100 megawatt, and these are project with a feed-in tariff from the government for 25 years. And we see now also from the economic development that many compounds, industries, schools are aware that photovoltaic has a good opportunity to reduce long-term the energy bill. It's a nice green energy solution. The technology in the last years got so much better and so much cheaper that the grid parity is reached, especially in a country which is blessed with so much 
some shell energy. And now I come to the to outlook. So I, as an Austrian engineer, see Egypt like uh, the, the Germany of, of Africa. There are very little few countries where there is such a good industrial background and the market from the Arab region, all Africa, is huge. Maybe in five or ten years it will be the largest market in the world for solar energy. And I see it as a big hub to produce anything. Engineering, know-how, hardware. Inverters, panels, cables, all kind of components you need for this market can be produced and exported by Egypt. And then the market is increasing dramatically. It's by far the biggest investment market in the world, much more than all kind, other kind of, of power plants, and it's still increasing. So I'm very positive that in the next years will become a very dynamic development. And the last point I want to make is that I think when the market gets the freedom to develop and all subsidies are putting out, then the clients will decide for themselves to go for photovoltaic to reduce the energy bill. And we are promoting now, for example, IBP models, meaning independent power producer models, where we develop a special price formula for each kind of client, for a school, for a house, for a hotel, for a region, for industrial group, and then we invest and build and operate the photovoltaic plant and the client is not paying for the plant, he's paying just the energy today compared with the subsidized price he got from the government, but he knows now what he will pay in 25 years, we call it the price forward. And this can be tailor-made for each solution and I'm very optimistic that this can combine the demand, the energy demand need of the clients and the expectation of investors, even international investors are looking at this business model. So I'm very optimistic that photovoltaic and Egypt will develop in the next years very fast. Thank you very much.